this is why holistic training, it takes time, but once it's done, oh man, the relationship and the sense of connection is remarkable, phenomenal, and magical. I can't tell you how many clients say it is just magical. And I didn't ask for that, darling, but I'm asking for a disengagement. He is so good at this one rain stop with the disengagements. And step over, very good, very, very good. No, we're gonna go this way now. All I was doing is I was trying to get him to move his bottom around as we took this right turn, and he took it as a trot. One foot, uh-uh, one foot doesn't mean trot. So he's gotta figure that out, and I'll help him with that. Use your one rain stop as your training tool. When you're not getting what you ask, you give them three tries, at a count of three to get it right. And when they don't, you shut them down. The, the one rain stop is your emergency handbrake and an awesome training tool. Just making the wrong thing uncomfortable and the right thing easy. Very good. Now you saw my inside foot just kind of went back a little bit, pushing his rear around and he did it without trotting. Very good. Very good. And go to B. Ask that. Oh, wow, that was good. I just slightly put my inside leg against him and he moved that hip around. And we're going to M and move this way. Oh, that's good. He's really picking up on the leg cues. And H and move you around. Oh my gosh, goodness, gosh, golly, you're doing so good. <laughs> doing so good. Okay, we're going to take a hard left to F. And I'm going to push that bottom around. Excellent. And push him over just ever so slightly. Exaggerate. Very good. One foot doesn't mean trot. Very good. You're getting it. You're really getting the refinement. Very good. And turn. Turn. Push that bottom around. Excellent. No trot. Very, very good. You're getting it. Sometimes you just have to break it down one step at a time. That's those baby steps. Very good. And ho, two, three. Ah, that was awesome. That was so good. You're so cute. You always have to turn to the left with your head. You're so funny. Why don't you love me over here so I can work on your eye changing? Yeah, eye changing this. He's just dominant eye on the left. And we need to help him feel secure and learn to switch looking through his right eye, having confidence looking through his right eye just as much as his left eye. Exactly, very good. And turn to M. Oh my goodness, you're so good. And now we're gonna go down the center to A and C. Oh, that was great! Oh, that was such a great turn. Very, very good. Very, very good. I'm so happy for you. You're doing so good. And turn your bottom around. Very good, no trotting. There you go, give your nose, oh, there. Let him relax a little. Let his head out a little. And I need you though to move over, 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 very good. And then turn to H. Very good. Very, very good. Now you'll notice my body position. I try to keep myself aligned ear shoulder, hip, heel. Sometimes my feet get a little forward, but you also have to keep in mind your own body's makeup. And because of a long time ago car accident, I have scar tissue and you know other, other kind of uh, structural things that have changed how my body aligns. So I can't always be that perfect alignment, but what is perfect is how it feels. If it feels right and you have control with your horse and you're well lined, not slouching, but sitting up, you've got to meet how your body functions for you and how it feels with the horse. And your horse will often put you in the position as you're seeking what's most comfortable and most effective it does make sense when you got your heels down boy that feels right you tuck your belly button in hold two three that feels right 
Very good, very good. And seek out those like balance riders, those, those types of trainers, because they can really help you find what works for you. It's amazing, somebody will tell you just one little tip and it can make all the difference for you. No one, no one person has all the answers. You must seek others, other trainers, other coaches to help you on your journey. I didn't even have to say ho on that one. He got that through the field. I am so proud of you. You are a fabulous boy. I can't wait to get you on the trail. We're gonna have to take the other black and white boy on the trail with us with another rider. Can you drop your head? Two, three, ah, ah, ho, ho. And back to, nope, ho. Okay, and drop your head and back to, back to, ho. Gets a little confused when I pedal because he thinks feet mean go back, back to, back to, back to, back to, back to, back to. Very good. So with him, it's a very subtle brush of my foot, just a brush of my foot sitting up a little bit so he can pass through me, kind of leaning forward a little so I'm off the saddle and that helps him back up that much easier. Very good. So I kind of lean into that center of gravity where the withers are. I'm going to remind you again, I know you've heard me say this a million times, I'm going to keep saying it. When you're going down a hill, you tuck your belly button to your spine, you stand a little bit out of your saddle, and you lean forward into the withers, the center of gravity going down a hill. So you're off your horse's brake button, you, they've got control of their hind end, and you give them their head. You only need to guide them, but you don't be pulling on their face. Allow them to navigate down the hill freely as much as possible, just like this. This is how I do it. I'm a little tucked, crunched, and I'm heading down the hill. Not like this, oh my gosh, that's, that is really the wrong thing to do. I know it feels counterintuitive to lean forward and you're thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna, this horse is I'm gonna go right over the top or he's gonna flip or something. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. It's kinda like riding a motorcycle. Have you ever been a passenger on a motorcycle and your, your driver says, lean with me when they're taking that left corner and you're leaning, oh, it's creepy. It's, it's counterintuitive, it's scary. You want to lean against it. No, you have to lean with it. Same thing going downhill. You got to lean downhill, right into it. Get your bottom kind of a little bit out of that saddle. You're really in your stirrups. Good boy. You're so patient while I'm talking. And go to B. Get your bum around. Oh, excellent. Very, very good. Very, very good. Let's see if we can get him to side pass this way. I'm not sure if he will, but because things are so interesting over here. Can I get you to side pass? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Nope, now you just turned around, but you did a good job. Can you go again? And we've got that mounting block in the way, so we'll just go over here and play with that. We'll try that again. Yeah, good boy. You're doing so good. We'll get to trotting in a little bit. I just wanted to make sure I had good control. I have his mind. He's listening to me. He's listening to my cues and ready. Get your bum over, get your bum over, get your bum over. There, look at that, tapping helps, tapping helps. Very good. So what I had to do is add a little tap with my finger while my foot was back there pushing him over. And soon he'll equate just the foot and not have to tap his bottom doing that.